Welcome to the NKU Sports Show. I'm Brady Labor. With students beginning their winter studies and the basketball team settling into conference play, we want to look back on some of the awards and accomplishments from the NKU fall athletes. The Norse volleyball team posted another 20-win season and returned to the NCAA Division II tournament for the first time since 2003. The Norse led by GLBC Player of the Year, Liz Holmes. Holmes, a senior out of Cincinnati Mercy High School, was the Great Lakes Region Player of the Year. She was Division II All-American first team, which makes her only the third NKU volleyball player to accomplish that goal in three different years. Christina Eisenmanger, a junior right side hitter out of Erlanger's Notre Dame Academy, was also first team All-GLBC. She was Division II All-American honorable mention and All-Great Lakes Region first team. Old school NKU fans can remember her father, Jay Eisenmanger, as one of the NKU men basketball players. Natalie Forbes, a junior setter out of Fort Thomas Highlands High School, was an All-GLBC second team selection. She was also Division II All-American honorable mention and a first team All-Great Lakes Region performer. Tristan Dye, a senior outside hitter out of Middlesburg, Ohio, was a first team All-GLBC selection an all Great Lakes Region honorable mention, and she was also selected to ESPN the Magazine's District 4 All Academic First Team. Switching now to some accolades received by the NKU women's soccer team, Lauren Franson, a junior out of Campbell County High School in Alexandria, Kentucky, was second team All GLBC. Jamie Light, a senior forward out of Colerain High School, was third team All GLBC and second team All Great Lakes Region. Kara Aldred, a senior out of McNicholas High School, was third team All GLBC. GLBC Men's Soccer Coach of the Year, John Basiliga, led his Norse to a team record 22 wins and a Great Lakes Regional Championship. The team was led by several first-team all-conference performers, including sophomore Braden Bishop. Bishop, out of Centerville, Ohio, was a first-team all-GLBC selection and the GLBC Offensive Player of the Year. He led the team in goals with 16, which gives him 29 goals for his career. Andy Bacon, a senior out of Lakota East High School, was also first-team First Team All-GLBC, and the GLBC's Defensive Player of the Year. Tony Capuro, a senior middle fielder out of Moeller High School, was First Team All-GLBC, and he scored three out of his four goals this season in tournament play. Dan Impelizzeri, a senior defender out of Anderson High School, was also All-GLBC First Team and led the team with seven assists. Eric Ashworth, a junior defender out of Centerville, Ohio, was second team All-GLBC, and Stephen Beatty, a freshman out of Dublin, Ireland, was All-GLBC third team. In cross country, Julianne Hoxima wrapped up an outstanding career for the Norse. The senior out of Baden High School was All-GLBC, and she was the first NKU female runner to compete at the Nationals in the six kilometer run. Also, Jenna Seamer, a sophomore out of Villa Hills, Kentucky, was all GLB selection also. The men's cross country team this year was represented by Zach Kohler. The junior out of Ryle High School was all GLBC and all American. Kohler became the first NKU cross country runner to earn all America honors since 1979 by leading the Norse to a 16th place finish at the national finals in Joplin, Missouri. Despite very competitive and winning seasons from all of NKU's fall sports teams, only one, the men's soccer team, came away with a GLBC League Championship. Now to learn more about how this season's teams are doing in the GLBC and other GLBC news, we go to Teresa Poole with a GLBC update. Thanks Brady. With two months of the season complete, we're beginning to discover this year's top players in the conference. Let's take a look at some of the league leaders as of midweek. In women's basketball, the top scorer is Amber Shelton of Southern Illinois, Edwardsville. NKU's Angela Healy is 7th, and Cassie Brannon ranks 12th. 
The conference assist leader is Quincy's Jessica Keller, averaging nearly five assists a game. NKU's Nicole Coyote comes in sixth, averaging nearly four. And Jesse Slack ranks tenth. Our Angela Healy pulls down the most rebounds in the conference with almost 11 a game. Our point guard, Nicole Coyote, ranks 12. This week's GLVC Player of the Week is Kayla Ming from UW Parkside. She led her team to victories over Kentucky Wesleyan and Southern Indiana by making six three-pointers in each of those games. Ming scored 32 points in the victory over Kentucky Wesleyan. Looking now at men's basketball, Norman Plummer continues to be a force in the GLVC after transferring from the University of Dayton. Plummer from Southern Indiana is leading in scoring with 21 points a game. NKU's Morton Harrison ranks 19th and Anthony Teague ranks 20th. Stephen Bolt from Lewis University and Jeff Von Boulay lead the conference in rebounding, averaging 11 a game. NKU has no players in the GLVC Top 20. TJ Smith leads in assists and NKU's David McFarland and Billy Fennell rank 7th and 9th. This week's Men GLVC Player of the Week is Kentucky Wesleyan's Jeff Von Boulay. The Los Angeles native recorded double-doubles in each of the Panthers' wins over Lewis and UW Parkside. He averaged 29 points and 14 rebounds for the week. And that's a wrap for this week's GLBC Update. Back to you, Brady. Thanks for watching this edition of the NKU Sports Show. Please join us again next time. I'm Brady Labor.